Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and this video is all about Octo Everywhere. So if you haven't heard about this before, Octo Everywhere is a plugin that will allow you to access your FDM 3D printer from wherever you happen to be. And you'll be able to watch live streams of your prints in real time from a web camera. You'll be able to share a link to that screen with whoever you want so that they can watch it too. It has a really cool AI failure detection system called Gadget that can alert you if you start to have failed prints. And you'll also be able to manage manually control your printer, especially if you have it hooked up with one of many different iOS or Android apps, which in my case, I'm using Octo app, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works too. So if you find yourself interested in trying Octo everywhere after you check out this video, be sure to check out the link in the description and the pinned comment in the comment section. So it can take you over to the website, you can make an account, and the developer has made it really easy to get everything up and running. So what devices can you use Octo Everywhere on? Well, typically if you're running a printer that has Clipper and it's a version of Clipper that the developers haven't bogged down and made unrecognizable, then you can use Octo Everywhere on that. But in addition to that, you can use it on Bamboo Lab printers now. That is a new release, it's real exciting. You can also use it on Creality K1 printers. You can use it on the Neptune 4 family of printers. That's what I'm gonna be using today to show you what the features are like. You can also use it on the Creality V3 KE printers. That's a relatively new release. And the instructions that the developer has laid out in order to connect to those printers is really well done. And I'll also leave a link to that in the description where you can check check out all of the instructions on how to get it set up for one of those printers if you have one of those printers handy. So all this sounds great and all, but how much does it cost? That's always the question. Well, fortunately, the core functionality of Octo Everywhere is completely free, 100% free. You don't have to pay for it, but if you do use it, and you love it and you want more of it, then there's a way for you to monetarily support the developer and the ongoing development of this project. And you can take a look at it right here. There's three different tiers. There's the standard tier, which is completely free. There's the supporter perks version that you can get either for an entire year that comes out to 349 a month, or you can have the elite supporter perks, which comes out to 849 a month when you decide to subscribe for an entire year. But month to month, that'll come to $4.99 for the supporter version or $11.99 for the elite supporter perk version. And you can see all the different things that you can get with each version. So if you just want to try it out for free, you're still going to get unlimited remote access. You're going to get unlimited AI print failure detection. You'll be able to get some uh, 20 second webcam streams, three printers on your account, the standard functionality for the gadget AI failure detection system. You'll still be able to create live links that you can share with anyone so that they will be able to look at your stream of your print in progress and you'll still be able to get some notifications. So you can just check out all these different perks here and then you'll be able to decide which tier is for you. So now let's take a look at the Octo Everywhere website so you can see what's going on here. So check this out. So this is Gadget. So Gadget is the AI failure detection assistant. So how that works is if you have a webcam connected, it'll watch your print. And if it detects that you're starting to get some weirdness going on, such as some spaghetti, or if your print has come loose from the bed and is moving all around the place, Gadget will see that. And you can set it up to send you a notification to let you know there's something wrong, wrong with your print. So you can just have it send you an email. You can have it send you um, a message on like Telegram. You'll be able to have it send you a text message if you want. And you can also set it up to automatically pause the print if it thinks something has gone wrong. So in that way, you'll be able to potentially avoid the dreaded blob of death. So Gadget can be really helpful. And then you can also use Octo every in conjunction with some iOS and Android apps. I use Octo app and that was really easy to get the two to talk to each other. So when I use Octo app, I'm able to also look at live streams and also I'm able to control my printer and check out different functionalities and technical things about my printer right here on my phone. All right, so let's take a look at my Octo Everywhere dashboard. So as you can see here, I have two different instances running. One is called Neptune 4 Pi and the other one is called Neptune 4, but they're the exact same printer and I'll tell you why in a second. But here are some of the things you can do with Octo Everywhere. If I click on Quick View, 
it'll take me to a live streaming view of my print. And I am currently printing a weapon from the video game Helldivers 2. And down here, you can see the percentage of the print. So I'm 95.9% .9 complete with this. Gadget says that is looking great, and I do have to agree. It tells me the print time, how much time I have left, and what time is going to end. I get my hot end temperatures and my bed temperature, the name of the file. I can pause the print, I can cancel it, I can share a stream of the print, and I can report a missing gadget feature if that were to happen. But I can also click this button to go to Clipper. And when you do that, it's gonna open up Fluid here. And if you're familiar with this, then you know all of the different things that you can do here. This is like the technical side of things. So you don't have to worry about this too much if you're just starting out. But what you can do from here, you can send prints to your printer remotely. You can alter some G code if you want it to. You can check out the tuning of your printer. You can look at the mesh of your bed if you wanted to. But the cool thing about this is, you'll be able to access this through Octo Everywhere, even if you're not connected on the same network as your printer. Once everything is set up, you can just take your phone, go halfway across the country, log into your Octo Everywhere account, and you'll still be able to access Fluid as if you were in the same house with your computer, with your printer, because usually you have to be on the same network to access this. But when you use Octo Everywhere, you don't have to be. You can access this from anywhere you have a connection. Let's take a look at some more features. Uh, here are the gadget settings for the AI failure detection, and you can choose different levels of confidence that gadget has. So it starts off with standard confidence, which is a balance. It says that it'll catch most issues, but some sneaky ones might not be detected. You can bump it up to more confident, which is something that won't give you as many notifications, but it might miss more issues that are failures, or you can give it a very confident attitude that will only send you notifications if it's very sure that they've detected an issue that is a failure, and you can bump it all the way down to the lowest confidence that says, I will send you a notification if I see any issues, but some of them might not be actual failures. And you can also toggle this box here to smart pause your print if it does detect a failure. You also get live links that you can create. So it's like creating a live stream. You give it a title, you choose the printer that you're gonna be using if you have more than one set up in Octo everywhere, and then you'll be able to create a live link that you can share with anybody anywhere. And they'll be able to watch the progress of your print in real time. And you'll also be able to revoke that link whenever you want. When it comes to notifications, you have a variety of methods that you can receive notifications, email, SMS, Telegram, Discord, Slack, Pushover, Push Bullet, or Custom Webhook. You can choose to support the project and you can share printer access. Now, this is a share connection that you should only do with people that you really trust, but if you want to do that, you absolutely can. So the reason why I have two instances of the same printer running at the same time is because I set this up with Octo Everywhere in two different ways. So the first way is by interacting directly with the Neptune 4. The second way, I used a Raspberry Pi sort of like as a middleman in between my computer and the Neptune 4. So the Raspberry Pi handles everything in between and I don't have to interface directly with the Neptune 4 if I don't want to. And that's another awesome thing with Octo Everywhere when it comes to setting up a Raspberry Pi because the process is largely automated. It's all on the website and they're telling you exactly what it is that you need to do, which just really involves taking a bit of code, copying it and pasting it into a program like Putty. I'll get into that in a second so that you can enable everything and get everything working really, really quickly. And it's a charm. It works like a charm and is very convenient to use. So I know there's a lot of people probably just kind of starting out. This type of thing seems extremely daunting. I know, I know it does, but trust me, it is not difficult. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get it up and running. So I'm gonna be talking about the Neptune 4 in this particular situation, but be sure to check out the Octo Everywhere blog if you have another printer such as the K1 or Bamboo Lab printer so that you can just follow the step-by-step -step instructions with that. All right, so here's what you need to do. If you have a Neptune 4, first you need to connect your printer to the internet. Now, depending on which version you have, you might have to connect your printer to your router with an ethernet cable, or if you have a Neptune 4 
plus or Neptune 4 Max, it has Wi-Fi built in. So you can just connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Whichever way is more convenient for you to connect that printer to the internet, you do that first. And once that's connected to your internet, you need the IP address for the printer, which you can easily find in the settings, the network settings of the, of the printer. It'll tell you exactly what the IP address is. All right, so just take a picture of it or write it down or remember it with your photographic memory because you'll need that for the next steps. The next thing you're going to need to do may sound daunting, but trust me, it's not. You're going to need a way to SSH into your printer. You know, that sounds complicated. That just stands for secure shell. It's just a way for two devices to securely communicate with each other. And the way that I've done it is by downloading some software called Putty. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find that. So you download Putty just like you would any other application. You install it and you open it up and it's going to have a little box where you can put in the IP address for your printer, which is already connected to your network. You're gonna take your IP address from your printer, put it into Putty, and when you enter it, it's gonna open up another box that will allow you to enter more code. But this is where you can go to the Octo Everywhere blog and you'll see exactly what that code is, where you literally just copy it from the website, you paste it into Putty, you hit enter, and the whole thing is gonna start taking care of itself. So just follow the really easy step-by-step -step instructions and you're gonna get the Neptune 4 set up working with Octo Everywhere in minutes. Trust me, it's gonna be really fast. Now, the second way that you can connect this is with a Raspberry Pi. So I'm guessing if you already have a Raspberry Pi, then you may be already familiar with what it can do. But if you need just a little bit of assistance, you're going to need to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. And then from there, you have to make sure that you have the standard Raspbian Raspberry Pi operating system installed. So you take your micro SD card, you put that into your computer, and then you make sure that you have that operating system set up to be installed on that SD card. You're also going to have to go into the settings inside of Raspbian, and you're going to have to make sure that SSH is enabled, and you're going to have to set up a username and a password just for your security. And if you're planning on connecting the Raspberry Pi to your Wi-Fi network, there's also an option there where you can put in your network address as well as your Wi-Fi password. And then once you do that, you write it to the SD card, put the SD card into your Pi, plug your Pi into a nice power source, and then you let it install from there. You're gonna to have to use the old putty tool again to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Now again, it sounds like it's super complicated, but it's really not. I'll leave a link to where you can find out exactly how to do that. Like I said, it's pretty simple. And then once you finish that, you can use the Octo Everywhere Companion to basically automate the rest of the process for the most part. Simply taking a bit of code that Octo Everywhere Companion gives you and putting that into Putty and then watching all of the fancy letters and colors just come up and at the very end, it's gonna give you a code that you enter into on the website and then your account will be linked and you will be up and running. I know it sounds like it's a whole lot of steps, but trust me, it's really easy to do, especially if you follow the instructions on the Octo Everywhere blog and the other links that I leave in the description, you'll be able to figure it out. It's not hard, I promise. So right now I am out in my car. I am nowhere near my house. I'm in a parking lot. And here I wanna show you how I can still access Octo Everywhere right here on my phone without being on the same network as my printer. So here's a look at my phone screen from the parking lot. Now I blurred out the IP address for my printer, but I am trying to access it right now. But it's gonna be stuck in an infinite load because I am not able to connect to Fluid outside of my local network. But by using Octo Everywhere, I can get around that completely. So I went to Octo Everywhere's website, and as you can see from the top, I am still on a mobile network. Here's my printer, and I am printing the second half of that Hell Diapers gun. And now all I have to do is go down to the option that says go to Clipper, just like I showed on my desktop earlier. And when I do that, it's going to open up Fluid, and now I'm able to access everything inside of Fluid 
on my phone from a mobile network. So I'm going through the options here. Here's a look at the bed mesh that I showed earlier and everything is running very smoothly and quickly. So I still have access to everything that I would normally have on the desktop version of Fluid, but now with Octo Everywhere, I can do it all on my phone over a mobile network. And that's pretty awesome, especially if you have multiple printers that you wanna keep up with when you're on the go. So you can use a variety of different apps along with Octo Everywhere in order to get mobile access to your printer. But in my case, I'm using one called Octo App, which is a free app from the Google Play Store for Android or on iOS. And as you can see here, I'm on the prepare screen because all I needed to do to connect after I already had Octo Everywhere set up was put in the IP address of my printer. Now from here, you see I can set the extruder temperature, I can also set the bed temperature. Here is a look at my webcam here. This is a live feed, although I'm not printing anything currently, but I did just get finished printing something recently. I can also move my extruder. I can uh, move it in these increments here, 100 millimeters, negative 10, 10, as you can see here. And then I can also send G code commands to the printer. I can look at the bed topography. I can also open up the web interface, which is going to open up Fluid. But in order to get that to work through this Octo app, you do need to be connected to the same network as the printer. But, you know, with Octo Everywhere, when you do it from there, from that dashboard, you won't need to. You can also start printing from this app as well. Here are just some of the files that I recently printed, and I can just take care of that. And this is just another convenient way for you to access your printer when you're at home and you're connected to the same network. Your printer's in another room, but you want to start a print because it's already on. You can use an app like this in order to do so. And since Octo Everywhere has its hooks in there, you'll be able to be able to look at your live feed, which is being provided to you from Octo Everywhere. And it's just another option for you to use to make things a lot more convenient for you when you're operating your printer remotely. So that's Octo Everywhere. I think that this is a really cool plugin. I'm digging the features. I'm really looking forward to seeing what other features are implemented in the future. And it can be a great way for you to keep tabs on your 3D printers, especially if you've got a fleet of them and you wanna be able to look in on them from time to time and check out the different settings of your printers when you're away from home. This is a great way to do it. So remember, if you want to try out Octo Everywhere, I'm going to leave a link in the description and as well as a pinned comment so that you can go there, set up an account and try it for yourself. And remember, it's free, so you don't have anything to lose. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.